Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is your man, Larry, the American Brazilian. I know it's been a long time since I have posted a video, and of course, you can see I'm doing a little something different with my hair. I'm more of a clean cut guy, so I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it like this. In any event, I just wanted to uh, drop in just to say I hope that everything has been going well with you guys. Uh, I hope that, you know, for those who are particip participating, well, I guess you wouldn't have any choice uh, because America is opening back up uh, in, um, you know, immersing yourselves into society that you guys, uh, even in the midst of that, are staying safe. You know, um, you know, we have to. We don't have we don't have a choice. In any event, uh, I wanted to update you guys. I am going to be doing a show with the kosher clinician uh, this Saturday. I don't know if he's going to post it. It may be live. I'm not sure. But um, not sure what the uh, topic of conversation is going to be, but I'm sure it's something that uh, I can contribute to, or at least I hope I can. Anyway, um, my wife and I are in the process of planning our trip to Brazil. And uh, while we're there, we'll be going to Arasatuba, which is a city in Sao Paulo State, her hometown. And we'll probably either do a little mini vacation vacation uh, in Salvador Bahia or Rio de Janeiro. I'm thinking Salvador Bahia. We've both been to Rio at, 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 at separate times. Love the city. Uh, just want to see somewhere different. So our plan is to, at some point, or whenever we do visit Brazil, um, maybe do a different city or a different state every time we go uh, and visit our family there and also um, visit our home there because we're gonna do some stuff there from a permanent basis, but then we'll be able to kind of go back and forth um, handling what we need to handle there and then vacationing there uh, in our own spot. That's the plan. But uh, anyway, I have had so many thoughts uh, on my mind. You know, a lot of times when I'm riding, that's when I can get the opportunity to just kind of share things with you guys. And I've been hearing a lot of people, um, you know, talk about, um, you know, the whole conspiracy theory thing. And, um, you know, a lot of it is kind of related to COVID, but a lot of it is just kind of life, you know? And I have these conversations with guys, uh, and people in general that I know and or come in contact with. And I, I, one thing that stuck out with me, I was having a conversation with this guy and he was kind of, seemed like he was a little upended or a little unnerved about some things. And it appeared to me that it wasn't so much that he didn't necessarily trust himself or believe in what he was attempting to do based on our conversation. But what I was stuck out with me, it seems as though he didn't have the factual evidence, I guess, that he felt he needed uh, even to, to attempt to take the, 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 the risk. I'll say it like that. And it dawned on me. I think a lot of people are like that. I think a lot of people, for whatever reason, um, they feel like they have to have all of the information in order to go after their dreams or go after what they want. And that's just, listen, let me tell you something. Um, I don't adhere to the whole saying life is short from a standpoint of, you know, hey, now you see me, now you don't. But I understand the premise or the gist behind the saying. Um, and, and it's simply this, if there's something that you're gonna do, if there's something that you wanna do, if there's something that you're planning to do, you need to be busy about doing it. You need to be, this is word that we used to hear a few years ago, intentional. I remember everybody was saying intentional. You need to be intentional in whatever it is, whatever plans that you feel like you are, uh, 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 you know, the things that you wanna do, the plans that you're making. Because here's the truth of the matter. You're not gonna know everything about everything. You're not. And if you wait, you'll limit yourself. If you wait until you know every shred of fact about something that you're going into, you'll miss the boat. Most people, well, I, I, I use myself. I'm, my mom used to call me a risk taker. You know, she kind of recognized that, I guess, when I was like seven. <laughs> I just used to do stuff. But my rule of thumb has always been this. I don't have to know A to Z. 
sometimes knowing A to B helps me believe in it enough that I'm willing to take the risk. And for me as an individual, it's worked out in my life. So listen, don't allow yourself to get caught up on wanting to know or having to know everything before you actually step out and do what it is that you want to do. Because the truth of the matter is this, even if you fail, you still succeed because if you step out again after having not accomplished whatever it is that you went for in the first, the first uh, attempt, then your second attempt, now you got more information or at least you know how to move different which I guess in essence is the same thing, right? Having more information. So listen, if, if, if you wanna travel, conditions are not always gonna be perfect. If you see this thing that you want or, 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 or this, 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 this thing that you, you, you wanna do, conditions will never be perfect. And there will never be perfect. The only perfect condition that either of us could ever get in anything that we aspire to do is the desire is the concrete the desire the concrete desire to actually go for it that's it as long as you have the desire to at least attempt to step out on something and accomplish whatever it is that you want to do that's all you need all that other stuff th th there's a saying build build a plane while you're flying some stuff comes together in the process of you getting in motion listen Think about it like this. Let's just say you have a desire to go from um, Atlanta to, to Miami. So there's a whole lot of different ways, right? But you will never even crawl, you will never get close to Miami if you don't get in your car and go and drive south. Now, you might be, yeah, yeah, there might be construction, there might be road clo lane closures, there might be accidents or whatever, but you you can you figure out as you go along as long as you keep moving you will ultimately reach your destination but you have to get in motion i heard a, uh and this was a i was a I think i'm in grade school when i heard this size of chinese proverb may have been confucius that said it and that's this a thousand mile journey begins with one step one step so if you're listening if you're hearing this message and you're questioning yourself and you're trying to gather all of these facts or figures or, or, or get certain information on, on this, that, and the other, Some, just get in motion. What's the worst that can happen? What's the worst that can happen? I mean, you'll be further along than you are now, right? right? So you'll be actually closer to what, what it is that you're going for. But if you don't, I mean, God forbid you're not here tomorrow, right? If you're not here tomorrow, wherever you plan on going, do they make whatever it is that you're trying, that you need to go after the day, do they make it where you're going? Probably not. And you won't need it anyway. You won't even want it. So get in motion. Don't worry about the facts, man. Not all of the facts. Don't, don't worry about have, knowing everything. Sometimes the, all of the hope that you need is wrapped up in the desire that you have. And I just leave it at that. But anyway, um, maybe next time my wife will be with me after this thing that we're uh, that we have going on. And I'm, I'm literally I'm, I'm on Amazon trying to get GoPros and all kind of stuff because I really want this uh, this uh, this trip to be like amazing and fantastic and everything that I know it can and will be. Uh, in any event, uh, this is Larry, your man Larry, the American Brazilian, signing off. And um, Tinyum Gia Abensuado. Have a good day, a good night, a noche, and uh, ate bravi. I will see you soon. Everybody dash. <laughs>